I'm doing a series called Distances, about distances of all kinds. How can I explain? While you were playing baseball and sipping Cokes, I was riding camels along the beaches, or else my horse, a small golden stallion, soon to be gelding, through a flood of dark faces and brightly colored saris, clawing the alleyways of the bazaar. Under the stiff brim of my sun hilt, I balanced easily, watching that world appear between the twin leaf shapes of the Arab's ears, more in love with his golden skin than my own. John Dad, both guard and guide, moving his bulk so gracefully on the tall, gentle thoroughbred as she stepped along in front of me, parting the dense wall of bodies like the Red Sea. Again, I bobbed in his wake like a dinghy toad through a sea of dark heads. Fine white dust puffed up, puffed up with each clop of our horses, carefully oiled hooves. By the time we reached the polar grounds, my shiny boots were coated with dust, and the hot winds blowing over the cracked earth could never dry my sweat damp hair. While your mother was at PTA meetings, my mother played polo with the president's guardsmen, and later, rustling with silk, joined my father in his dress uniform and glittering medals at diplomatic receptions. Upstairs, we tried to sleep under the slow turning of fans, though the music and the clinking of silver and glass echoed up the marble halls. My Aya folded her tired limbs into the corner, wrapped in a clean white sari throughout the jasmine fragrant night, and my sisters and I were slow to sleep in the long darkness. I had sipped tea from a tall grass tumbler that glittered in the half dark. She told us tales of jungles and spirits and a serpent that flies through the night wearing a ruby in its head, but much larger than the one in her nose. Silver and glass bangles rang softly in the dark as she wound her coconut scented hair into a tighter knot and crooned Hindi lullabies to blue-eyed children. How can I explain? I, I don't know your dances or your games or your slang, but I have seen the winter-bred horses trotting over the passes in the Kagan Valley to be traded for salt. They kick each other as they run, bursting with the joy of very short-lived summer grasses, a green flame along an icy river. That night we slept, slept on rope-strung cots before we climbed the glacier to Sahul Malik's still-frozen lake. How can I explain? Thank you.